In this video, we're going to do a finisher slash burnout after a leg day. Focus on your glutes. First up, we've got donkey kicks. We're going to do 15 reps on each leg. Make sure you focus on squeezing your glute once you hit the top. And a good way to do that is using your heel to guide your movement. So as if your heel is going to touch the ceiling. I am on my elbows here. I find that I have a bit wider range of motion. Uh, some people like to do donkey kicks on their palms. It is completely up to you. Again, I am on my elbows because I find that it's better uh, for my glutes. I feel like my glutes are more focused, but again, it is a personal preference. Once you do 15 reps on one side, go ahead and switch on over to the other side. Since this is a finisher slash burnout, um, we're just going to do one set of each exercise that I'm going to show you here today, but we're not going to have a lot of rest in between to really, really burn our glute muscles. Remember to keep that core engaged, keep on breathing, and let that booty burn. Now we're going to switch on over to tabletop position and we're going to do some fire hydrants. We're going to again not take a long break here. We're going to do 15 reps on each side, focusing on our glutes. I am also going to keep my core nice and engaged. Keep that spine, head, and neck in a straight line. That's something we say a lot in yoga, but it's also very important to keep that within working out as well. It's mainly for just having your spine in a good position and keeping that alignment so you don't get hurt. Once you do 15 reps on one side, switch on over to the other side. Really, really squeeze that glute. Your glute should already be burning. You will feel it on both glutes. The stationary glute and the moving glute. Now we're going to switch on over back to our elbows and do a different donkey kick variation. We're going to do donkey kick pulses. Again, 15 on each side. But now your range of motion is less. You're not going to go all the way down. You're going to keep that glute nice and engaged and just pulse at the top. Once you finish 15 on one side, you're going to do 15 on the other, keeping that breast nice and steady, keeping that spine aligned, and keeping that core engaged. Now we're going to do some static stretching, which is good after a workout as well. We're going to start off in butterfly position, really move here in a stretch or position that is comfortable for you. You're giving your glutes a nice rest while keeping them engaged. You're not really asking too much of them, but you're engaging them. Go ahead and cross one leg over the other and pulse forward. This one's not exactly a static stretch since I am pulsing. Um, you could make it a static stretch by just staying leaning forward, but that's a little bit more um, difficult. You'll feel it in your glute a lot more. So just make sure you do it evenly on each side. So now switch on over to an overstraddle with your knees bent. This is for your inner thighs and your groin area. You're going to move forward, back, and just really get in a nice stretch. Now for the second part of our finisher slash burnout, we're going to do some hyper extensions. Here we're going to do 15. Really squeeze your glute on the way up. These are also called supermans or superwomans. Um, but yes, they're very good for your lower back, good for your glutes, and really just finish off a great workout. Even though today was a leg day and I'm doing this as a leg finisher, you could also do it on an ab day as it's the reverse movement of most ab crunches. So it really does stretch out your core as well. Now flip on over to the other side, lie on your back, and we're going to do some frog pumps. We're going to do 15 reps. 
this is a great workout to focus on your glutes. You also feel it on your hamstrings, but it's really, really going to burn out that booty if it's not already burning. For this workout, it's typical to lay your hands by your side. I kind of move around everywhere just to make sure that my form is nice. I like to put them on my hips just so I can make sure my hips are aligned and things of that nature. Just make sure your lower back is not compromised, you keep that core engaged, and you're breathing. Switch back over to tabletop position, we're going to do some leg circles. We're going to go ahead and go clockwise or outward on one leg. We're going to do 15 circles. And if you end up starting off and you're going counterclockwise, just make sure you remember that. Um, as long as you go in the same direction for the other leg. So here I am doing clockwise, I believe, and we're going to do 15 reps. This is a great, great finisher as your entire glute will be um, activated and really, really make sure you get in a nice stretch as well. So it's like the best of both worlds. Switch on over to the other side and we're going to do 15 reps again, clockwise position. Actually, I think I'm doing counterclockwise. Um, doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and do the other direction um, either way. So whatever you start off with, just make sure you remember it so that you do the opposite for the final round of this burnout. So here we're doing 15 circles. Actually, it is clockwise. <laughs> I should have edited that out but I the unique thing about my YouTube channel is I don't really want to be perfect on my channel I just want it to be like a safe space so anyway here I am flipping onto the other side we're gonna do counterclockwise on the leg we started off with we're doing 15 reps again keep that back nice and neutral keep that core engaged and breathe I do have my foot flexed here I find that my Glute is more activated when I do that, but go ahead and play around, point your foot, flex it, see where your booty burns the most, and that's what you should do, my friend. Switch on over to the other side. Do the opposite rotation than you did in the first set, and go ahead and do 15 reps. So as you finish that, I want to emphasize the importance of a finisher slash burnout. So incorporating a burnout at the end of your workout session really pushes your muscle to that muscle fatigue point that allows muscle growth to occur once your muscle is recovering. Thank you for watching and if you have any other questions, go ahead and drop that question in the comments below. Send me a DM on Instagram or email me. You know I'm always here for you and I hope you enjoyed this video.